Uh, okay, I'm on now. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm glad to see everyone is with us today. A lot of my friends. Chris is here. Christian. A lot of you know Brett Christian. Just the, the chin. Um, a lot of you know Chris recently went vegan, but what you don't know is he tonight told me he went macrobiotic. Actually, he's, he's macro hypnotic. He meditates on food and he sinks himself with the nutrition that only the master can give him. Oh! And the, the best part about it is that the rest. You're a girl, master. The restaurants are all BYOB. It's very good. James is here. With his hair. Or as, I, as I like to call it, shock and awe. David, David is here, and his, ta his tattoo will be here all night. David, you come up here. <laughs> Could you show off your tattoo? That's Link? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the type of tattoo you get before you go off the grid and join the resistance party. <laughs> David, you better be fucking pretty good at Zelda to have that tattoo on your chest. Like, you better, Zelda better be putting your kids through college when you're 40. Um, Jeannie is here. Jeannie. A lot of you don't know this, but Jeannie hails from a very prestigious Korean family. The Kims from Korea. Maybe you've heard of them? Uh, it was really arbitrary who I wrote, wrote jokes about. Um, on the other, on, on the other hand, I, I just don't find some of you very funny. Not you, Diego. Diego's proof that life begins at fifty. <laughs> Um, there's a bunch of fucking people here I don't even recognize. <laughs> You're terrible! <laughs> um, I was I was really glad when Danny volunteered to do rim shots for me. And then I realized he was talking about the drums. And I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jordan is here. <laughs> that is the joke. <laughs> uh, now, now on to the regularly scheduled routine. Um, you guys know that thing you do with shampoo bottles, where you uh, you run out of shampoo and you you fill it up with water and you have like a brand new bottle of shampoo. <laughs> That's not the joke. I do that. I do that. We do, we do that. <laughs> There's a good two month lag between new shampoo versus the rest. Anyway, it got me to thinking. Do you wish you could do that trick with other things? Like cocaine? <laughs> I told you to whisper these things into my ear. You're fired. <laughs> Are you ever walking down the street carrying an umbrella and then you realize no one else is using their umbrella? Because it's not raining. And you're a shrub. It's very disappointing. 
Uh, speaking of things we carry around, the other day I went in, into the subway and, and the police were set up to check bags. So I got to thinking, you know, what happens if, if you go into the subway and the police are there? You don't have a bomb or, or drugs or anything, but your bag is just filled with wall-to-wall -wall dildos. Like, you can't even put a bottle cap in there. You know, do you, do you let them search the bag? Or do you wait for the next train? I'm letting them search the bag. I, I have places to go. People to see. It's very efficient. I, I love the subway. Um, sometimes... <laughs> You ever been on the subway when it stops in the middle of, of a tunnel? What's a yeah. yeah. What the fuck is up with that? Is the conductor deciding, you know, forwards or backwards? Yeah. It's make way for ducklings. Yeah. Make way for what? Make way for what? Let's bring a children's book. I want to do right now. <laughs> 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 Thanks for illustrations.